good morning, and welcome to Finally Friday. Friday, in that a whole week has passed by. And you know on Friday we look back and we think to ourselves, wow, the whole week has passed by. What have we accomplished? One of the things I thought would be a, a good topic today to talk about is embracing ourselves. How do we get more into embracing ourselves? You know, because after all, facing the lion challenges can be pretty tough. But now when we think about what it is to face the challenges that we face, nobody does it better than we ourselves. We are the living proof that we have and we are facing those lions. The challenges, whatever it is that we have went through. What I have learned during this time of being a professional life and wellness coach is about becoming the best versions of who we are. When you think about a better version of yourself, how do you see yourself? Are you still fighting with the pain of yesterday, day before, and even right now? Good morning, Trish. Good morning. We are all part of the cycle of what we know of life. You know, we hear that in the Lion King, the circle of life, but we are in the cycles of life. You and I have come from different backgrounds. And the greatest challenge that we have is to embrace what we are and what we have been through. Now, if I were to ask you what what have you been through and take everyone and ask them the same story or write a paper on something that you've been through that you think has been life changing life altering you no doubt will have a different story And that's what we do here. We talk about the things that have challenged us. And I think at some time, I would love to one-on-one have you guys write something that was life-changing to you. If you want to do that now, I'd be happy to talk with you with you. So this is not an assignment, nor is it never an assignment that you have to do because it's not school. But it is lifelong lessons. Let's stick with the point of writing something that was life altering to you. How has it changed? you. Because there are a lot of life-altering things, life-changing things you didn't see coming. But now you have, in your life, whether it's past or present, you will learn and acknowledge that it happened to you. Yes, you, over there, there, and there. You 
say, that happened to me. And it's my story. Have you ever, ever been somewhere and you say, that is exactly my story? Or you've seen a movie and you say, that's me, that happened to me. That's why we all, all like to go to the movies, because it's it's relatable. And in life, we're one big cycle of life. And so you're writing down what happened to you that changed your life. In colleges, in high school, you get a lot of papers like that. In high in college, they call them theses, subjects that you're going to write about. What would be your story? And that's why, ladies and gentlemen, we have you know that we are interactive. So if you'd like to tell your story, we'd love to hear it. Why do we say we'd love to hear it? Because the only way to embrace it is to talk about it. I find that many people don't talk about things. They'd rather tuck them away. They'd rather not own what happened to them. How are you doing? with those things that you need to talk about but you just can't talk about. A very famous celebrity just listened to a interview that they've done. They're famous. And I quote what they said when it came to talking about it, they couldn't bring themselves to do so. Well, you say so a lot. People have said that. But if I were to tell you the name of this person, you would take that and you would say, wow, that person is struggling. That person is challenging, that person has challenges, couldn't bring herself to talk about the part of her. A lot of times, and this may not be the reason why the celebrity didn't talk about whatever it was that was called upon her. But I'm going to ask you, you something. When someone asks you about the deeper parts of your life, the parts that are hurtful, that are painful, that you, you feel like it, it's a rejection or others would reject, reject you? Have you embraced those moments? Do you realize that the things that have happened to your life, in your life, are why you are standing today? If those things, those hurts, or that pain, or that, that messy thing in life didn't happen. Where would you be t today? Many, many of us say, I wish that would have never happened. I was dri driving in the car the other day and I was somewhere in my mind. And I don't su suggest that you do this because oftentimes I'm thinking Do you ever think when you're driving or when you're in a car? And I mean doing some deep thinking on things that have happened to me 
in my lifetime. When we think about our pains, our hurts, our tribulations, our challenges, do we say, woe is me? Or, whoa, I can't believe that happened to me. Or have we put ourselves in a place of, wow, I got through that. Wow. That was a challenging time, and I got through it. Many people, as I was thinking about my life, I never questioned why did it happen to me. But I saw myself in a future sense. I saw for myself that I, I had grown. As I experienced the pain, I looked back at the past me and realized that the hurt little girl had grown up to become the adult that I am today. If you're in that situation, can I ask you today to hug yourself? I find that that's a very hard thing to do. You know, we, some of us don't like to be hugged. Some of us don't like to be touched. Some of us aren't hugging people. We don't like to hug. But I'm asking you today to hug yourself. If you remember the butterfly hug, that's where you, you are putting your arms around yourself, your neck, folding them as if you were hugging another person. Today I'm going to ask you to do something further because we've done it. Good morning. We've done this before. I want you to stand in front of a mirror and hug yourself. If any of you are struggling with what I've just asked you to do, that's called embracing while being challenged. Because, see, our mind reacts to the things that we're told to do, like yawning. Yawning is so, so easy. As I've said it, you probably yawn. Or when you looked across the room or wherever you are and someone else is doing it, you automatically react to it. See, your brain doesn't tell you don't yawn. But you over there. You hesitate it to hug yourself. You hesitate it. You challenged or you feel challenged, but today I want you to challenge yourself in loving all that you have become in whatever you have been through. While I was driving, thinking about that, for the first time in my life, I was proud. I was proud. Can you say that? You must understand that embracing myself was not an easy thing. So, so I say to you, it may not be easy for you. 
embracing yourself means that you are aware, you have acknowledged, and you have accepted all that has happened to you, whatever it may be. Because you could not be here to have told your story. You could have been one of those who did not survive. But here you, you are. Over there. Come. I'm talking to you. Come. I'd like for you to take a look at yourself and just scan yourself really quick. You ever heard of scanning the, the room? I have a sense of humor, and I always tell people wherever I'm going, I always scan the room. Just quickly look around. But I want you to do that with yourself, and you will have to stand in front of a mirror to do this. Scan yourself really quick. Now I want you to come away from the mirror, and I want you to think about you. What has been some of your challenges? What are the parts that you just simply can't embrace? We're going to talk about some of the things that people cannot embrace. Can you think of anything in the world, anything in your environment that you just cannot embrace? Here's what I can't embrace. Brussels sprout. Yeah. If you're like me, I cannot embrace Brussels sprouts. Oh, yeah. They've been in my lifetime, but I... This won't be eaten. How about you, Trish? Is there anything that you just can't embrace in the way of food? Yes. I cannot embrace um, a day-old food. Like, it just, it irks my nerves. Um, if I know that it's been in the refrigerator and it's been there overnight i just won't eat it it doesn't matter if it's good i'll throw it out so i just can't embrace that at all okay so here for those who are listening to our challenge today we're talking about, about it, things that we don't embrace here's another thing i don't embrace disrespect of any kind don't disrespect your parents. Don't disrespect each other. I cannot embrace it. Trish, what about you? I cannot embrace people that don't listen. I can't embrace that. It's something that bothers me, and it's like... There are a lot of situations that are created from people that if you would have listened, then you would have understood. So I can't embrace that. Yeah. yeah. So what we're actually saying is that we cannot accept or support. Now, with learning the definition of embracement, when you embrace something, that means that it is something that you hold close to you. You've just got a vision of, of what it is that we simply will not accept. And it could be in a form of the things that we've said, but on a bigger level. I want you to think about yourself. You're not dating. 
you're not about broccoli. But here's something. Many of you have disrespected yourselves. You've embraced that as your way of life. You're normalizing who you are. You, you've you embraced it. Let's talk about how. You have held it closely. You know the songs, sometimes the songs come on the radio and we're bobbing our heads to the song. Yeah, you know those songs that you bob your head. Good morning, and thank you for joining. We are, you are at Vibe Talk Facing the Lion podcast, and we're all about facing our emotions and our feelings. And today we're talking about embracing parts of ourselves that we don't necessarily think think we should. So you listen to music and you take songs and the lyrics are wow! Did they they just say that? How many of you have been there? I have. If you have been there And you are listening to these lyrics that disrespect women. That are leftover lyrics because you've heard them all before. Until now. Are you embracing those things? Are you holding them close to you? What about when people disrespect each other? Old, young children, even even little ones, even even ones five years and up, disrespectful. We hold those kind of things. Now if you were listening to any part of this report recorded conversations that we're having in our lives today, we want you to challenge yourself to start accepting Supporting, willingly giving yourself an embrace. Respecting yourself closely, because if you don't do it, no one else will. How many of you believe that? If you don't start respecting yourself, no one else will. So today we talk. And what's your thought on that Trish it's it's like uh, if you people see how you treat yourself mm-hmm. so if they see that you tr- you don't treat yourself well they will basically return the favor or they'll start embracing that themselves like oh she doesn't take care of herself so why should we treat her like she deserves to be taken care of it's that sort of thing. Thank you so much. Yes. If you really like us, please hit the back button, left side corner, and join our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook. The reason I'm telling you guys this is because we're going to be having all of our lives on our Facebook page. Um, Spoons is no longer going to be. What What was that date on that, Trish? October 30th. Yeah. So after October 30th, that's where we'll be. So be sure to hit that back button today. And th- thank you. So I want you to write down three things today. Yeah. Hold, accept, and include. The hold part we did 
by your hugging yourself. But now, are you accepting or do you support a belief about yourself? What is something that you believe about yourself? I believe that I am strong and determined. Trish? I believe that I am caring and creative. Love, love that. And now, as you write that in the, the second part of accepting, what are you willing to do? To support the idea that you are that that I am strong. What am I willing to do to support the idea that I'm strong and determined? One thing is behind my name, I will not give up. Not on anyone, or not on myself. I will. Welcome myself into the new parts of me and, and look back at the older parts of me, the parts of me that didn't know how valuable I was before this day. I will now acknowledge and accept it. You see how that does? See, we can say all these beautiful things about ourselves if we will. But what are you going to do to support that, Trish? What will you willingly do to support the idea of you being creative? I, what I'm willing to do to support uh, the ca being caring and creative, for, for one, caring, I'll take care of myself first before in order to take care of others. That's one thing I'm willing to do because I've learned that to care for others, I have to care for myself. So, and to be creative, I am willing to always try something new to make my creativity grow, whether it's in art or in music or baking. Like two days ago, I made my creativity grow a little more by making apple turnovers I made those and I was very proud of myself so doing those things is something that will help my creativity and my care for people grow if you've been with us thank you for that if you've been with us for any length of time then you understand that vibe talk facing the lion podcast has a lot of changes in the last three years. We've done a lot of growing. So we've included parts of ourselves as one podcast. Like, for instance, Trisha's Treasure is part of our podcast. That's part of Trisha's creativity. The Vibe Talk After Dark is part of our one thing, our podcast. Our talking together, we've done that. We've grown just like little baby plants into bigger and taller and stronger. So what does that mean for yourself and your growth? That means that you are going to take in and include yourself in things. I had someone say to me in last night's conversation that they needed to find balance and that they had a family discussion to include them doing more restful things. Taking a break do you include that do you understand that do you embody what embracing 
herself means. Now, many of you were willing to hug yourselves. Many of you may have hesitated. I want you to get close to yourself. The only reason, the only way that you get close to yourself, excuse me, is to encompass who and what you are. I realize, speaking from experience, that some of you may not like yourselves. You may not like yourselves, but today I'm asking for you to include on your list to draw a little bit closer to yourself, to encompass those things. I want you to think about including yourself. Sometimes we, we restrict ourselves. We restrict ourselves from getting to the next level of our cycles of life. We can't grow because there's something about us that we don't like. If you are brave enough, you know, a lot of people will ask their friends what they think about them. Some of you could kick yourself for doing that. Have you ever been there before? Ever done that before? You ask a friend, how do they see you and they start to tell you and you turn into that roaring lion because you say, wow, that's not me. I've had that happen. Yeah, because you didn't ask. You didn't tell them how you see yourself. You asked them how they see you through their eyes. How was that experience for you, Trish? It was shocking and also like it bothered me because I was like, I wasn't expecting to hear what they were saying. I wanted to, I wanted them to say what I thought of me. It's like a checklist. It's like, yeah, I'm that person. Yep, that's me. But their list is way different from my list. Yeah. What was that last part? I said their list is, I said their list is way different than my list. Yeah. Because you see what you did, you ask them, how do they see you? But now, I ask you today, how do you see yourself? Is, is it easy for you to embrace yourself? When I ask everybody to hug themselves, did you cringe? Did you, were you hesitant? Were you avoidant? You know, because I gotta tell you guys, in my lifetime, up till now, there are some people that hug me and I can't stand it. And then there are some people who hug me that it's safe for me. And then I won't even let some people get close enough to me to even try to hug me. But that's all because of experience. Now, who's standing in your way for you not to get close enough to yourself? Who's restricting you? Or what is restricting you? Yeah. Are you able to hug yourself tightly or do you do the church hug where everybody sees you doing it? My niece and I, we have a joke. And we do this because she says, she, you know something, you, see, you always do that to me. And it, it, it was even when she was a little girl, but I didn't realize that it affected her because I used to play with her all the time. And I would hug her by just patting her on the arm. 
you know, like, you care, but you don't care. And one day she brought it to my attention and I didn't realize that we were doing it as a joke, but it had really affected her. And so I became aware of how she projected my embracement of her. So I stopped doing that. My nephew always saw me and because he was so bigger than me, he would, it was like he hugged me and his whole body covered me. That's the bear hug. How many of you know about that? That's when somebody values you, the bear hug. And then there's the one where you clutch yourself or you might nuzzle yourself a little bit. We don't know where you are in the stream of your life right now. But you need more bear hugging. We have a lot of cuddlers. People who like to cuddle. It's like this. I have two blankets that I love to cuddle in. How many of you have a blanket that you love to cuddle in? I do. Yeah. And how does it make you feel? It makes me feel warm and comfortable. Yeah. Kind of like Linus from the Peanuts gang who always is carrying his blanket. Yeah? So now why do we do that? Because we want to feel secure. We want to feel warm, safe, sound. So when we think about it, who we're cuddling up with, do you feel safe, secure? Because I want to talk about embracements and hugging because I realized that so many people are not with that because of their life's experience. I am a hugger, but I don't want everybody to hug me. Some hugs make me very uncomfortable. But now, how are you hugging yourself? I knew that every time I would see this one nephew, he's going to hug me, and he's bigger, and, and it feels like you're just being swept up. He always hugged me like that. I want you to think about that as a way to start to think about how you're reacting to yourself, because we have a language. Language. And one of the languages of us is how we're reacting to that when people hug you, you might react. You know, when your mom hugs you, wow, that's great for the majority of us. And when your dad hugs you, that can be great too. But how are you? You doing as respect to yourself? Do you bear hug yourself? Are you a cuddler with yourself? Or do you do the church hug with yourself? Good morning and welcome. And we are talking about embracing ourselves. Some people find it challenging to embrace themselves. If you are here, please let us know where you're from. What State you are from, no address, please. Had a funny thing happen. Someone actually gave their address. <laughs> so please don't exist. Good morning. Challenging yourself to express love to yourself. In order for you to express love to others, you must express love to yourself. 
How many agree with that? When I ask you about the butterfly hug. Okay. Our audience member says, I have a huge problem embracing myself. That is why we are here today. Thank you so much for being here and sharing with us. Why do you think that has become a problem with you if you care to share that? Why do you think that that is a problem for you? Because you're not alone. So, so many people feel the way you feel. You just said that. In childhood trauma. Does everybody see that? That's where it starts. That's where it starts. Thank you for being brave enough. Do me a favor. On your left side screen up top, I like you to click the YouTube channel. Reason being is because in October, sometime in October, uh, Spoons is going to be non-existent and you will know where we are at all times. Good morning and welcome. So when you embrace yourself, how does it feel? Do you feel like you're embracing love? Do you th think that you are capable of accepting love? It's challenging, isn't it? Just like our audience members said, childhood trauma. That could be in your circle or your cycle of life. Some people aren't huggers. Doesn't mean that that might be childhood trauma. Maybe no one ever hugged them before. I always made a point, even with my kids, to hug them every night before we went to bed. Some people didn't have that. My youngest said to me one night, came home, he said, you know something, Mom? He said, my friend's mom, my friend's mom, I'm going to read your comment, keep writing. My friend's mom didn't hug or kiss my friend goodnight like you do. Our audience member says, no one, excuse me, excuse me. First, I'll be right back. Hello, everyone. We are talking about am... embracing ourselves. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Chris, for stepping in. We are live. Now, my grandson was in the background saying naughty words. It happens around here, guys. And we do have humor, but not that kind. Yeah, he's still young. You're so right. Thank you for being here. And where, what state are you in? Please and thank you. And thank you guys for being understanding. Love that. Um, is it Chucky? Utah. Beautiful state. I have some friends that live there. Thank you so much. And Trish, thank you. My, that was my co-host, Trish. So now, uh, I wanted to go back to, uh, yes, we are. I said, I hope you guys are enjoying the morning. How about you guys? Thank you so 
much. Hey, guys, if you haven't already, please click on left up top, the blue writing. Reason being is because uh, latter part of October, we won't have uh, spoons anymore. And so I want to make sure that you guys know exactly where I am and will be on my Facebook Live. Okay? If you like this podcast, you're going to like a lot of others. So back to embracing herself because I want to catch a comment. Uh, one of our audience members says, they have a huge problem embracing themselves and that no one ever gave enough attention. Facebook. Trish, what is our Facebook? They want to know. Good to write that. No. Our Facebook is uh, facebook.com forward slash vibe dash talk. You'll see the lion. Okay. Please go there, guys, because we haven't went away so that you guys will know that's where Trisha and I are. We are live on our Facebook, and like that page if you do. So uh, I want to get back to the question because that's important, the statement that was made. If you have never, no one has ever given you enough attention, yeah, that would make it hard for for you to embrace yourself. Today we're going to give you that attention because we want you to learn to embrace yourself. But before we do that, I want to give us a break. So don't go anywhere. And we are going to be right back. Thank you guys so much for being in our program today. Vibe Talk Facing the Lion is always interactive as well as streaming on iHeartRadio and all other places. Just subscribe. I love it. Thank you guys. I wrote the address, Chucky, at... um, on here, it's, uh, as uh, my co-host said, facebook.com vibe-talk. Thank you guys for joining. Now, when you think of embracement, what do you all think of? Can I have you guys write one word that you think of when you think of embracement? What do you think of? Thank you so much. Love it. If you all can do that favor, you'll know exactly where we are. Okay, accepting. Thank you for that. What do you guys think it is? Trish, what about you? What do you think embrace thing is? Uh, I think of support. I love that. 
you want to write that support anybody else so yes all those things thank you for the beautiful heart love self-love yeah and you know something one of our audience members said self-love that's what I thought of because when I think of it embracing I was thinking about that good morning for those who are just joining thank you so much but really it is all of that it is an acceptance or close attachment to and how many of you feel like you like yourselves see how we're getting to the challenge thank you so much if you can please subscribe to our YouTube channel it's top left on some platforms and then we have our vibe talk. You said it's complicated. Yeah. Yeah. But now when you think about it, uh, embracement, how many people do you welcome with open arms? My word list is some. Some people are open armed with everyone. Why am I talking about openness? Because it requires you to be open and then there's a part of ourself that remains closed. I want you to think about we are the number one live today. Wow. So I want you to think about yourself and I want want you to have the invita invitation to invite yourself to you. And we're going to go back to our mirrors again. If you have a mirror, go to your mirror. And don't say you don't have one because everybody has a mirror. You can even get them on your device. Be right back. Okay. And when you go to your mirror are you accepting to the person that you are looking at I like to use this welcoming thing because everyone gets it yeah and when babies are little if you put them against the mirror what's their attitude of what they're looking at at the mirror Anybody ever done that? I have. My niece loves looking yeah. in the mirror. You know, I used to hold my grandbaby up to the mirror when he was about four or five months, and he would see himself and other babies. They love themselves. They say, wow, look at that. That's another kid. Wow. They will go to that mirror they will be so happy. Are we like that now when we're looking at a mirror? Our audience member says, I'm mostly asking myself, why am I like this? Is that not what we do? You are so on point. How many of you do that? Like our audience member says, asking yourself, why am I like this? I do. Yeah. Non acceptance. If you, you are non acceptance of yourself today, I want you to think about being more accepted and having a desire to invite yourself to you. That is the new you. You know, if, if everybody embraces you, can I ask you, are you embracing you? If there are some people, and people embrace them. And you say, wow, that is a likable person. How many of you have experienced that or saw someone experience that? And you know they're the likable people because people are hugging them. Right? 
I have that I had that happen to me a lot. But here is here's the challenge. I didn't like myself as much as they liked me. Come a little closer, yes you. I said I didn't like myself as much as they liked me. See, I didn't welcome myself. I didn't open my arms to me. I said much of what our audience members said right now. Why? And it wasn't my outer struggle. It was the inner me that was talking. Because as I am or was my worst enemy. I didn't like me as much as other people liked me. But I want you to be able to know as a professional life coach and as a human being one to another that you can challenge yourself to value yourself more. Because you could be saying, why am I not like this? Or, and by the way, guys, if you don't want me to read something out, just put that in your posting, okay? Because I want it to be okay, because we are recording. And uh, our audience member says, I just feel like I put on a good face, fake for the people and know the real me. That's why I'm complicated with myself. Well, here's the thing is to know when that started and for you I ask you when did that start for you when did that start for you is a good question and really it is for all of us when did that start being not acceptance to us that we start to question our value because I was devaluing myself I didn't value myself as much as people did I started to dislike myself I started to say why do these people like me so much and that's why I want you to think about the one thing that happened in your life that changed your life. Because that might be the thing that could very well be the root or the start of it. Welcome to our show, Live Talk Facing the Line podcast. We're talking about embracing ourselves. So, embracing yourself, connecting to yourself, Worthy of good things, affirming that you are worthy. I want you all to do me a favor, even if you don't feel it. Write the word, I am worthy. And I want you to tell me the one thing that you're worthy of. Ready? Begin. Don't give me a few minutes. Maybe you might want to write it. I had someone actually that uh, I was working with that would write things with an erasable marker to remind them themselves. You know, everybody's tattooed. And some of the things that I wish that I would see more of is how they felt about themselves. Got everybody else on their eyes, ears, throat, face, arms, hands. But I wish they would do a lot of writing, and we do a lot of writing in here. Even if you need an erasable marker to remind yourself of what? I am worthy. Challenging yourself with that every day. Um... 
thank you so much for your lion courage. It says, it started when I, I was willing to fail the people I love and when I accepted who I was to God as a human. So that's when you stopped or that's when you found it complicated. All of us are human and we all fail. But I heard something the other day that made me think if we didn't fail and we say challenge, if we weren't challenged, how could we ever experience what we do now? You've lived long enough to have been through some things, right? So you know a little bit more than you did when you were a child. Be thankful for the things you've learned. See, if there is no challenge, there's no growth. Always remember that. So how do we embrace ourselves? What do you think? Because we're, we're looking to all humans to embrace who we are. And that is not, not abnormal. That's normal. We look to the people. We already wrote feeling worthy, feeling valuable. But I want you to think about the one thing today that may have changed your life forever. And then I want you to go back and ask yourself because because this, I embrace this thing, whatever it is that has happened, life has happened to you, and you are you. There's no one more sure than you are. No one more sure. And so I want you to think about, with that being said, as you embrace yourself, What is the one true thing that you like about yourself? You know, we talk a lot about um, ourselves. And we spend a lot of time working to challenge ourselves to be better people. But I want you to think about your useful Reminders of yourself, the good that you've done, because you've done someone, somewhere, some good. Come a little closer. You've done someone, somewhere, good. I want you to think about the good that you did that time. And that, my friends, could have changed someone's life. Yes, you. You can affect someone for the good. I always think about that. What if you feel like facing challenges is too difficult, too hard? Everybody's against you. You're going to lose. In fact, there is a song about it, Born to Lose. But everybody has a hard time, right? All of us. Every relationship, everyone has been ill in their life. Everyone has had an accident. Facing challenges means that you are not going to run from it. And we're talking about embracement. Sometimes I run from it. I'm giving it more than I get it now. You are going to challenge the sense of who you are, what your values are, how you want to live your life. And when you face difficult times and you're being challenged, it doesn't mean that your whole life is a disaster. That's all about the cycle of life, right? Our uh, 
audience member says, I like that. I still keep on trying, still trying to be a good son to the Father, God, and that I still try to make it more easier for my loved ones. I like that. The word is try. You're willing to do that. That's all you can do. Stay mindful of your life. Stay mindful that the sun will always come out after the rain. There are rainbows at the end of a stormy day. Pay attention to the good things that are happening and enjoy the present moments. What do you have that you love? How does it make you feel good? You know, ice cream makes me feel good in a good movie. I could have the worst day possible. And I, I always love ice cream, popcorn, and a good movie. That makes me feel good. Think about those things that make you feel good. Be present in your, your feelings because it's not always a stormy day. You said that you like that you tried to become the fat cave well, facade for the people outside of the home. But now I want you to become true to you. Vibe Talk Facing the Lion podcast is all about you working on yourself before you can give to someone else. Enjoying the good things. We want you to feel your feelings, your, your sorrow, your grief, your happiness. And we practice gratitude here. We ask every morning in this program, what are you thankful for? Giving you a sense of thankfulness. We want you to know that life challenges you the next hour, the next day. You can be resilient and work on yourself. How did you handle the past challenges of your life? We don't want you to be a facade. We want you to be truer than you. No one is. What you listen to what you do to remind yourself that you have your challenges and you embrace them. You know the saying, all is well? Even if it's not, it will be. Someday, if not today. Calming down. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. And like I said, because Spoons is not going to be anymore, please get to our YouTube pages. We are always going to be live on our, our, we'll be live on our Facebook page. If you have Facebook, please, I tell people this all the time, please join our Facebook page page because you're going to see it as soon as I come on live. You'll see that. You are the sun to every life storm. Come a little closer. I said, you are the sun to every life storm. Our audience member says, I'm thankful for God for giving me the chance to keep on trying, for giving me the time, for letting me be me, and for letting me have the people I love. Love that. We want to say thank you, and we're going to be right back with Trisha's Treasures, and I want you guys to not go, go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. Don't you dare. Face 
going to turn it over to Trisha's Treasures. Embracing yourself seems hard, I suffer from experience, because I myself used to cringe at the thought where I couldn't fathom the idea of embracing myself, because it became so normal to want validation from other people, which that's normal. That's normal human interaction. But it became addictive to the point where if nobody said, like, for example, if nobody said, your cake tastes awesome, I would automatically think I'm a terrible baker. And suppose my dream was to become, go to culinary school and become a baker at my restaurant. But if one person said, your cake tastes terrible, that dream would have been out the window. That's how it was for me. And when I stepped back from wanting validation from other people, I realized that, I realized that I have to be true to myself, embracing the good things about me, or when I need support, like I need to embrace myself. When I make a mistake, I needed to tell myself, you know, it's okay. You'll get through it. That's another part of embracing myself. I even thought of when my dad would go to work and we're sleep we were sleeping and I would be awake and he'll say, come here, give me a hug before I go to work. Even though it wasn't very often, it felt good. I can tell that I needed it more than I was given a hug because every time he hugged me, like I will burst into tears. And I still do that now. Every time he hugs me, like I burst into tears because I feel that, like, I felt like I needed that. And it feels like everything that's inside of me, when my dad gives me a hug, like, it just comes out. And when my mom, when I'm crying, my mom gives me a hug, but I just cry even worse. I don't know if anybody else can relate to that. But when I'm, like, going through a mental breakdown, when my mom gives me a hug, the sad tears turn into relief when I received that embrace from my mom and my dad and in reality one day I won't be living with my parents one day I'm going to be on my own and I am living my own life while living with other people and so I have to learn to embrace myself be my supporter when nobody else gets it, when I get it. And it's a lot like we talked about cuddling. It's like a stuffed teddy bear. I love seeing my niece because she loves giving hugs. So she gives hugs to her teddy bear all the time when I give it to her. She loves hugging her blanket. 
she loves hugging her dolls and when she gives me a hug i can feel like her means something like one time when she came i gave her a hug and she she rocked me back and forth when she gave me a hug and i was like oh that's so sweet like she meant that hug that was a real hug and that just made me want to hug people more because i am not a hugger i am not and her hugs make me feel like you know what this feels great i should hug people more and this podcast made me feel like you know what i know what it feels like to hug people that i love and i know what the passion of love feels like when they hug me and the high emotions that i feel so i i feel like i deserve that and the question about what do i feel i am worth giving getting i was going to say that i feel like i am worth i feel like uh, i am worthy of getting true love i felt like i wasn't worthy of that for a very long time it's emotional for me to talk about but i am i feel worthy of true love and that's something that i had to embrace i'm learning to embrace those things it takes time but being patient with yourself is also key because learning to embrace yourself it's a practice it's also a journey but it's something that deserves embracement Peace in my eyes. Peace in my eyes. <laughs> Good morning and welcome to our show. If you guys have missed this program in any parts of it, you may go back and listen to it. We always record our group sessions. If you'd like to have a one-on-one with me, you can get with me through our Facebook page or direct message me or even um call our direct connection line that is exclusively tied to Vibe Talk 661-503-8993 I do both group podcast and individual If you're listening to me I would love for you if you have not done so today please click on the blue writing left top and our facebook page is vibe dash talk you'll see a lion there so our wrap up for friday's challenge is to embrace yourself how do we do do it getting to know ourselves um embracing the things we love and our interests surrounding our lives with people that are positive and i always encourage if you need help counseling um psychiatry psychologist if you're on a um road to recovery it is recovery month we will give you the resources that you need otherwise you We'll see us on Facebook. And our last and final question of the day. What did you learn and discover about yourself during today's podcast on challenge embracing? We'll start with Trish. And the rest of you can write it. Today... I learned that I should start embracing myself a lot more instead of putting on a mask because I was so used to wearing a mask when I was younger in 
like the per our audience member said about pretending to be great but you're not feeling so great mm -hmm. i was so used to doing that and once you get older the mask it stops fitting it doesn't fit anymore and then the emotions they start to just splurge everywhere and so i discovered that i need to embrace myself even more when i start thinking about those times and when i feel down i need to be my own supporter show myself love and this made me feel emotional because this really hit home this podcast right here so i will be listening to this again yeah pick so, up. yeah thank you for that trish for me embracing myself was a thing and now i learned that while wow, you're saying the same thing i'm saying <laughs> chucky how can you say that <laughs> he's like saying everything i'm saying before i say it uh, uh, lear learning to embrace myself was the biggest challenge now it's being around ones who don't like the way that I have embraced myself. Chucky, and this made me feel impactful today. Chucky says, I learned that we could have many, many ways to love and embrace myself. Makes me want to be more real and more realistic about myself. No, that's okay. It, it just makes me laugh because as I was thinking about embracement, I was looking at your comment. There's, there's no need, no need for uh, forgiveness because that's okay. It just shows that we're human and we think about that, but it was funny. I want to thank my audience member and all of my audience members today and know that we are here for you. We'll start to do what is called in sessions um, once a week or once a week. We're going to do it um, four times a month. So when you see sessions in, whether you see it on my live or our Facebook live you'll know that you can come in you can talk about things if you want to do a private thing we can do that um, it's going to depend on you i want you though to take advantage of vibe talk facing the lion podcast friday is always our challenge and you can stream all of our podcasts uh, um, our audience member says to you and I, Trish, I want to thank you and Trish for this podcast. It enlightened me. That's what we want. So all of you are always welcome. If you want to hear more, as soon as we get off of this, you'll see it up on the Facebook. Um, it is always recorded for legal purposes and for your enjoyment of the podcast. If you hashtag Vibe Talk Facing the Lion podcast, you will get our all of our podcasts. So just be mindful that we have, I was looking, Trish, and there's like 400 and something videos. As you look on YouTube, you'll see that as well. And how to get to us, all you have to do us go to our YouTube, Facebook, and even Instagram. I want to thank my amazing co-host. Thank you so much. And all of our audience members, you're very welcome. Those of you who stayed and interacted, that's what we want it to be. Enlightened. We thank you for your lion power and your lion courage to do so. I want to say a a huge thank you. Tomorrow night, the week has went by so fast, I don't even know what day it is anymore. Tomorrow night, we are doing a 
Vibe Talk After Dark. It's all about music, inspiration, and we celebrate music. Come and check us out live on Facebook at Vibe Dash Talk, 8 o'clock California time. So check out 8 o'clock California time, wherever you're living. We will be live with me as your host. Trisha's Treasures also is affiliated with Vibe Talk Facing the Lion podcast. If you want to hear more from Trisha's Treasures, you can hashtag that now. I just did that yesterday, Trish. And you can find out Trisha's Treasures. Um, it's all part of who we are. Thanks, everybody. And have yourself a beautiful weekend. If you have anything that you want to talk about, our number is 661-503-8993. Thank you so much for joining our podcast. Have a great weekend, everyone around the world. Thank you. He says, and I don't want to go away without that. He says, thank you, thank you, and you and your family enjoy everything. Happy family. Back to you as well. Thank you for joining us, everybody.